Hey, it's Anna Runyon, and welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. Today, I am sharing my secret weapon for growing a membership site, and I'm really excited to kind of go behind the scenes with you guys today and tell you what has really happened in our business over the last six months. Uh, first of all, I was so excited and shocked to open my email up yesterday to see that my membership site case study was in the top five of Stu McLaren's membership site contest. You'll learn today that Stu is my is my secret weapon to growing a membership site. And I'm so excited to share more about my story over the last six months and how Stu and the course he created, which is called Tribe, has helped my husband and I redesign a business that we absolutely love. Because work should be fun, right? You guys know I'm all about career fulfillment and happiness in your job, and that applies to me too. So I created like a two-minute video. It was a little over two minutes. It was supposed to be two minutes, but it went a little bit longer, and it's up on my YouTube page, and that is the video that is in the top five of the competition. So go check out that video on our YouTube channel. But today on the podcast, I am going to dive into how Stu McLaren's Tribe course really helped me create a business I love. I realize some of you guys are just listening here for the first time. So if you're just here for the first time, my name is Anna Runyon. I'm from San Diego. And my husband and I have a business that we run together called Classy Career Girl International. And we serve women who are in career transition. We help them find a career they love or start a business they love. We've had this business for about six years now. And we also have a two-year-old daughter named Mila. So before I took this course in fall of 2016... Uh, The problem was that my business was that I wanted to make a bigger impact and I wanted to help more people. I was very burnt out on individual coaching. I was doing a lot of traveling to speaking events, but I absolutely loved teaching others, even though I was kind of burnt out on those things. I also wanted more freedom in my life because my husband and I had tried for years to have kids. And now that our daughter was here, I really wanted a business that I loved that would give me a little bit more freedom and flexibility. And I also wanted to be a role model for her. I also, I just wanted to be able to go to the park with her in the middle of the afternoon rather than take client calls all day like I was doing. And I had already made the switch to the membership site model and I actually had two memberships running, but I could barely keep up with them. I was so stressed and unhappy and I actually had some health issues happening too. I was not... I didn't think I was a very good mom. I had a lot of regrets because I was missing out on my daughter and her life. And last summer, I literally did not go outside once because I, okay, that's a slight exaggeration. I hardly went outside. I did not have much of a summer because I was working to get more members in my membership sites, but I was really plateauing at 50 members in each of the membership sites, which was not paying the bills. And I felt like I was just launching something every week and I was terribly sick of launches. If you launch every week, you know what I'm talking about. And in the video, the test, the case study video that I did for Stu, There's a part that I didn't share of my story and what was happening. And if you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you probably know. Um, But really what I didn't share on the video is how tough a time I was having in my personal life right then before I joined the tribe course and really throughout the entire tribe course. So through the month of August, I was dealing with my third miscarriage, which was absolutely devastating. I knew I needed some kind of change, especially after a doctor asked me about my stress level. So I knew I needed a drastic change in my business because it couldn't just keep going at that same stressful and overwhelming pace. I also made, I've always, um, because I've had, unfortunately, I've had two other miscarriages too. And after I have them, I always make really big and decisions, really big investments. I'm in this club. I never wanted to be in it, uh, but my losses really pushed me to do things that I never would have done. I thought, okay, if I'm not going to be pregnant for the next six months, what can I do instead, and how can I actually turn this devastating experience into a positive? How can I make something of my next six months without growing a sweet baby inside me? I needed to grow something, right? This is how I thought. I needed to grow something. I needed to put everything into something into growing my business instead. So when our second child arrived someday, we would be in a much better situation. 
So I needed to, I knew I needed to put my focus into something else. I, my, if you guys know the strengths finder, my number one strength is focus. And so it's, it's, it's good and it's bad. It's good when growing a business, but it's bad when I'm focusing on negative things in my life. And it's very easy to go one way or the other. So I knew I needed to focus on something positive and focus on something else. And honestly, I really just needed a distraction. And through the pain and the tears, I was inspired by Stu's free workshop when I saw it advertised on a Facebook ad. It was the vision of having a perfect business that Stu talks about in that free workshop that I needed so badly at that time of my life. And so the big announcement is that Stu is having another free inspiring online workshop, the same one, probably even way better than when I took it. And it will be starting on April 3rd, 2017. And you can sign up for that too. I highly recommend it. If you want to start a business or if you just want to be inspired by someone else, go sign up for this workshop. You can sign up at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash tribe workshop. Another thing I didn't mention in the video is that I had already tried a membership site in 2014, but I had to close it down. I couldn't keep it up by myself, and I had a baby on the way, so I just had to say goodbye to it and quit it. And it plateaued at 50 members, and I was basically doing everything wrong when it comes to building membership sites that I've learned now. But even so, I knew that that membership site model was for me. So I had to change from the speaking individual coaching business model to the membership site model. And before the tribe course, you know, we were doing okay financially. I was proud that I had turned my individual and group coaching business into two membership sites. I also had published a book in 2014 and I had been doing a ton of speaking, including I even was flown to Brazil to speak to 800 women. It was amazing, but I started saying no to speaking opportunities and being really picky about where I put my time when my daughter was born. I just couldn't leave her to travel for a speaking event. So we were floating. We had spent a year prior living with my brother and not having to pay rent, which was a lifesaver. Um, We barely scraped by a few hundred a week for childcare, so John and I could really focus on our business for a couple of hours per day together. I was proud of myself. I knew that membership sites were for me. I knew I could help more people and do it in a more streamlined fashion than working with someone one-on-one. And I knew membership sites could give us the freedom and lifestyle that John and I really wanted in our lives. And I just, I did, I loved running the membership sites, but every time someone quit and we would review our numbers, I would be devastated. How are we going to make it? There was one person in and then there was one person out and it was looking more and more like that get ahead club that I had to close down in 2014. So we definitely were not making enough to cover our bills quite yet. So enter Stu McLaren. I've known about Stu for years since I always used Wishlist Member, which he co-founded. So I knew he was the expert when it came to membership sites. I also watched the growth of Platform University with Michael Hyatt And I knew he was behind that. So I knew whatever he was teaching, I knew I needed to know. I started seeing some video ads he was running on Facebook over the summer of 2016. They were extremely high quality video ads, so they stood out to me. I learned that everything Stu does was very high quality, which is something I strive for in my business as well. And his free tribe workshop was so motivational to me because I was going through that really tough time in my life. And I watched every video and I did every worksheet in the free series. I knew Tribe was for me, but I had to wait for doors to open. So I couldn't handle the suspense, and I decided not to join Tribe. I swear to you. Here's the funny thing. I didn't join the Tribe course at first. Doors weren't open yet because they open and close at certain times. They weren't open yet, and I couldn't wait. I needed something to invest in because of how down I was at that moment. I needed to make a change, focus on something else, so I invested in another woman's program instead before Tribe Doors opened. And the next day she called me back. I gave her my PayPal. I paid for it. Next day she called me back and she said, actually, I decided my program isn't available anymore and I'm going to give you your money back. So that was the sign I needed. That same day, Tribe finally opened. I watched the live stream with 10 other inspiring business owners with my husband, and we knew Tribe was what we needed. 
So my thoughts before investing in Tribe, I didn't know if Tribe would work for me because I wasn't just beginning my business. I wasn't brand new to marketing and membership sites. I thought I would just watch the last two modules on retention and growth because I had everything else figured out, which was totally not true. I was hoping this would eliminate the stress of keeping my head above water. The investment was a stretch and outside of my comfort zone, I'm not going to lie, but I knew if Tribe could help me and keep just 15 more members per month, it would pay for itself. I needed better retention rates, and he had a whole section on retention. So I grabbed the payment plan, and I said a prayer. When you have a membership site, you think in the numbers of members you need to afford something new in your business. So my monthly member rate was $39 a month. So I knew I just needed 15 new members per month, and I needed to keep those members to make this Tribe investment worth it. So that really wasn't that much, and I ended up doing it in just a few weeks later after I purchased. So it's silly to think about investing being an issue now. We now have 400 members more than what we had before Tribe paying us monthly. So if you do a simple calculation, $39 multiplied by 400, you'll see that my investment in Tribe was way beyond worth it. And I cringe that I almost bought some other woman's program that would have led me nowhere. Yikes, you have to be careful where you put your money. So what was Tribe like? The Tribe course opened my eyes to how I could relaunch my two membership sites so they would be way more fun and less stressful. When I joined, I thought, I can do this. I had no idea that in the course I would learn so much about Facebook groups and product launches I even learned how to conduct case study interviews and do way better market research than I was doing before. Stu put so much into this course. I listened to every Facebook Live he did every weekday while I was out for a run or taking my daughter to preschool. This course in Stu was my positive voice and cheerleader when my personal life was very rocky. Literally, I took the course in between doctor appointments and counseling appointments while I was in this depressed state of fog at that time. And I felt like I was frozen, but I just did what Stu said, and I followed his advice. I got results business-wise, and that's all great. But personally, Tribe pushed me through a really tough time. And around the end of the course, as I started putting my 90-day launch plan together, I felt like I got back to normal. And I was helping people, and my members were excited about the changes I was making in my membership sites. It was the dramatic shift that I needed. I was able to stay positive and grateful I was able to be the example for my members and for everyone that reads my blog, that listens to this podcast, that even though things don't go as planned and you have some rocky moments, you can still pursue your passions and your goals. And I hope that my experience is helping others, maybe you listening to this right now, which is why I'm sharing way more this time than ever before about my pregnancy losses. Tough times are rough, but they also come with an opportunity for change and growth. I can't even tell you how much I've grown in the last six months. And as we approach April, which is the month that I was supposed to give birth, I'm here sharing my case study, success story, and I'm in the top five of this contest, which is crazy. I'm blown away and things are starting to make sense a little bit more than before. I know God has a plan for all of this. My favorite part of the tribe course material was that it was doable. It didn't take long. I could take the first lesson and actually make a change to my membership sites as I went. It wasn't hours and hours of training materials. He just told me exactly what I needed to hear. I loved his Facebook Lives answering real questions and hearing his experience working with so many other membership site owners. I can't tell you how many times I've told John, well, Stu says this or Stu says this. Also, the community is amazing and always willing to help. Through the Tribe Facebook group, I found three other women to join a mastermind group with me. We are all membership site owners, encouraging each other, giving each other ideas. It's so nice to know other people who are also growing the same type of business model as me, so we all have that same foundation of what Stu teaches. The worksheets also made my life easier. I loved the launch and retention modules, which helped me the most. I used the launch module and I added 70 new members in my January launch. I had always been scared of launching, but Stu taught me how to plan ahead and make it fun, not stressful. What I didn't like about the program, at times I did feel like it was a little basic. I wanted module five at the very beginning, but I had to wait. But Stu knew what he was doing and it allowed me to slowly start implementing what I was learning. 
I also didn't like that there were no real life membership site examples. That's why when Tribe 2.0 opens up again on April 10th, I'll be sharing my Tribe 2.0 bonus experience with real life examples of how I grew to 500 members in one year. So just make sure you use my link to register to get access to that bonus experience. Also, I felt like the program was geared a little more to new business owners and less for someone who had already had a membership site. I wanted more training on how to have an evergreen automated membership site. This is another training I'll include in the tribe bonus experience if you join with my link. I was also bummed that I couldn't make the meetups when they happened, so I didn't get to connect in person with the tribe team and all the tribe members. I think there will be a meetup in June for the next tribe group that I'm definitely going to have on my calendar. I also would love a really good resource list for membership site owners, which was not included in the tribe course. So I will be adding a membership site resource list to my tribe bonus experience. So if you join this next round, you'll get the very best stuff from Stu and then also the very best stuff that I have to offer as well. So how cool is that? I know a lot of people in the group had technical challenges and the course really wasn't set up to help them navigate that tech stuff. So the good news is that I know in the 2.0 version that Stu is working on a solution to this issue, so that is great. Also, in my bonus experience, I'll have a tech tutorial of exactly what we did to set up our membership sites on the technical side. Also, like I said before, the Tribe Facebook group community was big and sometimes overwhelming for me, and this is why... I got a close group of other four other tribe participants in a close mastermind to help each other out um, so we could go back and forth in a smaller group. So if you join the Tribe 2.0 bonus experience through my link when it opens on April 10th, I'll make sure you get access to a special bonus private Facebook group with me and a, and a smaller group of people who purchased this bonus experience so you'll have a smaller community to bounce ideas off of each other and mastermind with. Of course, you'll also be part of Stu's Facebook group, which is amazing too. He'll give above and beyond. Uh, but for someone who wants just kind of a, like a little smaller, more intimate group uh, with me, this is for you. So let's go on to After Tribe. What happened to me after Tribe? You know, if I didn't join the Tribe course, I would not have this piece that I have now. The recurring model is amazing. We relaunched one of our membership sites in January of 2017, and we finally got to a place where our expenses are covered just by the number of members that we have. Now we can breathe, we can enjoy life, we can go on a date night, and I'm definitely going outside a lot more this summer. With what I learned, I stopped my involvement in one of my membership sites. I was overwhelming my members, and it's now running on autopilot with an increase in retention. How cool is that? Since Tribe, we've gone from 100 members to nearly 500 members between both of our membership sites in six months. Both membership sites' retention rates went from around 60% to 85%. We don't have to always be launching. We're less stressed and providing more value to our clients, which is awesome. And I'm really excited about our plans for the future. We can now grow our team, hire people, and expand, have our expenses paid for. I feel like I'm a better mom. I know my priorities, and I've changed my business to match my strengths, and I've gotten the help I needed. I can now focus on making a bigger impact like giving back to organizations and charities that I'm super excited about. So I'm taking also better care of myself and my health now. I have time to exercise every day and get some lovely vitamin D outside. I'm happy with where I am and grateful to be here right now without wanting anything more. I'm not searching for the next bright shiny object or business trick that will make everything better. And to the guy who's always next to me, helping me, helping me make all this happen, no, it's not Stu, it's my husband, John, you know, our marriage has improved. We have time for each other. We can relax and not worry how we're going to pay rent next month. My husband's amazing. If you guys don't know, he is. So I just want to say thank you to John for sticking by me and our business through the rough times, the times where I have these great ideas and I know this is going to work. You know, I'm an entrepreneur. I have a million ideas. Some worked and some didn't work, but I knew we would eventually reach this point of peace, freedom, and happiness. And I wouldn't be here without you believing in me and believing in us and believing in Classy Queer Girl. 
the ability to help people and do what we both love together side by side and enjoy this fun life is more than anything I could ask for. It was my dream and it was our dream and now we're living it. Also, I want to thank the entire tribe team. If you're reading this or listening to this, just take baby steps and imperfect action. It won't be perfect when you start, but it will be so worth it in the long run. So if you want similar results for your business or for your life, I invite you to meet Stu. It's really time to come clean. I'm sharing my secret weapon with you to meet my mentor, Stu McLaren. If there's one person that has had the most impact on my business, it's Stu. He co-founded the platform that I host all of my courses and membership sites on, Wishlist Member, and his tribe course completely changed my business this last fall. Stu has a free workshop that is the best of the best. Not only has he helped me, but he's helped Michael Hyatt, James Wedmore, and many other successful business owners you probably already know. So I really want you to sign up for the workshop. You can sign up at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash tribe workshop. And this workshop will inspire you no matter what type of business you have right now or where you are at in your career you'll quickly see how to use authentic marketing because Stu is one of the most authentic people I know. You'll also see how Stu uses his business to give back and influence the world. He's inspiring to me, and I think you'll see why. Plus, the quality of his free stuff is above and beyond anything else out there. Okay, I will stop now. With a little disclaimer, if you decide to join Stu's Tribe course that opens on April 10th, I am an affiliate. And I will receive a commission if you use my link when it opens on April 10th. So if you join with my link, you'll also receive my Tribe 2.0 bonus experience to help you take the Tribe course and put it into action. I'll show you in detail how I got 500 members in a year. More details coming soon.